day 93 all packed up and back out on trail uh three months on trail <laughs> today's june 8th we started march 8th so hey there you go uh temperature or weather today uh slightly cooler not much low 80s uh and thunder showers again in the afternoon so kind of looks like that's going to be the theme over the next two or three days at the moment anyways uh, 80s and thunder showers so uh today we'll be passing another lake so that'll be cool and it looks like we're also going to get some uh distant views so that'll be nice as well uh well weather dependent of course <laughs> See how foggy it is, but anyways, yeah, so we're gonna wander on down the trail and see what we can get done today. The beavers did quite a job here, damming this up. Got quite the little area. So far today, the rocks have been much, much better. Uh, feet are feeling a lot better this morning too. They were pretty tore up there yesterday. Uh, mostly from the last couple days in Pennsylvania, even though I had that day off in uh, Delaware Water Gap. When I got up that morning, my feet were really sore. But, Took them a while to kind of loosen up a little bit. <laughs> and then uh, kind of this first part of New Jersey, the first 10 miles or so, still pretty rocky in places. So that didn't help. And But so far today, hopefully we're kind of working our way out of them a little bit. Mountain laurels are pretty, but they're starting to kind of overtake the trail here a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh. <laughs> pretty though. They're just stopped and had a little early lunch there at that uh, little stream. Took my shoes off for a few minutes. That felt good. <laughs> Always uh, do that whenever I stop for lunch or longer snacks or whatever. So. Let the feet breathe a little bit. Nice little view up here. I was hoping there was going to be a bit of a breeze once I get to the top of this, but no, no such luck. <laughs> Just as still as can be. Starting to rumble a little. Thunder showers are on their way, I believe. Up here on the summit of Blue Mountain. Pretty decent views. Kind of a little open summit. Kind of glad I got through this or getting through this before the thunder showers arrive. So that tavern that I mentioned uh, back along, uh, that's right on the pond. I can't remember when I mentioned it yesterday or sometime. Uh, that's coming up in like half a mile. Uh, I called them to see if they had outdoor dining, which they do. I uh, said if the wind's blowing, you might get a little wet. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Uh, but I really don't want to go sit in their dining room either. I'm all hot and sweaty and stuff. <laughs> so I won't go scum up there their uh, tavern. There, made it to the tavern, actually beat the rain. Beautiful place here. I 
Wow, that tavern was super awesome. <laughs> well, I could have hung out there all day. Oh, I had big old bacon cheeseburger, french fries. Uh, so what else? Two beers, of course, and a Coke. And uh, yeah, wasn't that expensive either. So very, very good. Right on the lake there, beautiful spot set outside. Came in rain a little bit there and uh, it's still supposed to rain uh, pretty much all afternoon off and on, but uh, I'm continuing on. I'm not going to set <laughs> as, much, as much as I'd like to set there all afternoon. I guess I uh, need to move on. So. Yeah, just under two miles is Sunrise Mountain. I had thought about uh, camping somewhat near that and seeing about getting up early in the morning, going up and trying to catch a sunrise, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep walking uh, because, well, number one, I'm already drenched. So. <laughs> and then I think there's supposed to be a break in the rain a little later on, uh, so maybe we can time it so we can set up uh, between rain showers. Uh, the other reason is uh, I think it's supposed to be a little rainy in the morning and definitely cloudy, so I don't think we'd get a good sunrise anyway, so uh, I'm going to keep walking. There, made it to Sunrise Mountain. Nice little enclosure here so we can get out from underneath the rain for a little bit. Take a little break. Uh, yeah, obviously no... No views today and highly doubt there will be any in the morning either, so I'm not going to hang around in this area. Yeah, the rain's light up a little bit, but I think it is going to come back in here in a little bit according to the weather and rain a little more. Uh, it's only 4.30 and uh, I just checked our mileage and we're almost exactly at 20 miles for today, so... <laughs> going much better than yesterday, that's for sure. Uh, the rocks have certainly let up a little bit, so that makes all the difference for me anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure how much further we'll go today. I'm gonna go for at least another hour or so, and then uh, see what we can find for a spot beside the trail somewhere. Uh, there is a shelter coming up in a little ways, but uh, I just as soon get beyond that a little bit if possible. So, but we'll see. We'll play it all by ear and uh, see what the weather has to say as well. <laughs> Still rumbling over in the distance there. Like I say, it may come back around, but I think it is supposed to be halfway decent throughout the night. So uh, that'll be good. And tomorrow's not looking horrible at the moment. Basically, I think kind of like a repeat of today. <laughs> Uh, pretty warm in the morning, but no rain, and then rain in the afternoon, but who knows? <laughs> Seems to change by the hour. Been coming cr across quite a few rock walls here the last couple miles. Nice. Yeah, 26.1 miles. <laughs> Made up a little bit for yesterday there, so found a little spot here. Not the best, but it'll work. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, rain's let up for the moment, so I'm going to crawl into bed it's about 7 o'clock. <laughs> Went a little bit later than usual, but that's fine. Got some good miles in, so... Anyways, thanks once again, guys, for watching, following along, and commenting. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.